What the fuck is up, dude? It's Video Friday. It's Friday, and it's a d d the day that I post videos on, that I've always posted videos on. You wanna question me? Shut the fuck up. Hi. <sighs> Today, we're taking accountability. Sorry I just finished all the Swedish fish before finishing this video. I'm not gonna have any Swedish fish to eat during the rest of this video, and that really sucks for me, so. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm going to carry on like I've done nothing wrong because that's what YouTubers do. Shane Dawson. Does anybody remember him? I wish I didn't. I don't have the time or willpower to make a full detailed background on Shane Dawson, nor will I ever want to do that. About a year ago, Shane Dawson made what I imagine he thinks to be a comprehensive apology video listing all the things that he thinks people are mad at him for and saying they're bad to do, I won't do them again, it was a long time ago, blah blah blah. And for those of you who don't know, a lot of this ties into the whole like beauty channel drama that happened around that time. That is so boring and I'm not even gonna touch any of that because I don't care. But what Shane Dawson conveniently leaves out of his video, and maybe it's his best interest to do so, are the weird creepy interactions he had with fans that were very underage on like video chats, like asking them to twerk and do orgasm face. Ugh. And I'm all for rehabilitation. You can't just punish people all the time when they do stuff bad because that's not how you help people. They have to get proper help and reaccommodate back into society. This is more so about criminal justice in general, but I think it applies overall. I think everybody has the opportunity to change for the better and to own up to their mistakes. But it's a matter of trust and how much are we willing to normalize this behavior so that people can just come back after doing things like that. We shouldn't. We shouldn't allow that. We shouldn't stand for that. And that might sound harsh to a lot of you that I'm like, oh, he shouldn't come back you shouldn't have a place or a platform on YouTube and and maybe maybe I am being harsh maybe I'm mean but he did post a video just a few days ago about being back about wanting to make content again and I would strongly advise anyone who thinks I'm being too mean to watch this with me now and make a judgment when we're done rather than making like a serious video Shane does like kind of a serious video that is also part documentary I don't even know how to classify it let's just we'll, well let's we're watch it we're going we're going watch it Important things to notice, this is part one of a three-part Shane Dawson special. Shane Dawson special? I don't even want to know what that means at the local vet office. Was that worth it? <laughs> and the video opens with like this whole like dramatic like intro about like spirits. I don't really know or care. I don't feel like you could do that. I don't think you can just make an apology video saying, yeah, I did blackface all the time on my channel and also said the n-word in blackface all the time. I don't think you could say that in one video, disappear for a year, then come back with this? The brown part 103 shade does is special. It just comes across tacky. I think his best course of action would have been a small video to start just to say, hey, I'm gonna start posting again. You know, sorry about all the things once again. Uh, definitely gotta, you know, help going forward and be good and not be racist anymore, I promise. Because that's kind of all you can say. I'm sorry for pointing this out right now because you're not going to be able to unhear it for the rest of the video, but this entire video uses the onboard camera audio that has this god-awful hissing in the background. Like they start the video with like this piano intro, but it sounds like fucking dog shit because there's this fucking hissing in the background. Get a microphone, Shane Dawson. This isn't fucking 2010 anymore. You can hear the camera fucking. Is this good? Do you... Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry I did blackface. That would have been so epic if that was real. <laughs> Hi. I learned piano during my break. <laughs> Kidding, I didn't learn anything. You got that right. You certainly didn't learn how to use a fucking microphone. I feel like 
I have so much to say that I don't know where to start. Look at my new bling pumpkin. <laughs> I mean, I love it. Yeah. Something that I kind of noticed while watching this video is that Shane Dawson loves to waste your time. He really, really likes to just draw this shit out as long as he fucking possibly can. And you have to deal with him talking about random bullshit the entire time, rather than actually addressing the thing that you came to watch the video about. Anyways, trying to kill myself. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't. Get, I did. Well, what? I can't laugh about that. Yes, I can. I mean, it was you. Every, like, 10 minutes or so that goes on without Shane garnering enough sympathy, he has to talk about how he almost killed himself during, I guess, this year-long break that he's had. And there's nothing funny about suicide, attempted suicide, depression. These are all very serious things. And the fact that he jokes about it so candidly tells me he hasn't fucking learned anything. As someone who has experienced these things, I'm not going to try to undermine what Shane has experienced. But I'm also not going to excuse the fact that he's clearly, rather than actually talking about his experience, Experience, throwing these pot shots out there to garner as much sympathy as possible because he's worried that people aren't gonna feel bad enough for him. Okay, so I moved. There's a lot to talk about. Maybe we should go to the kitchen. I'm thirsty. I have a lot to say, but also, um, I'm not really nervous. If you're thirsty, get a drink of water before you press the fucking record button. If I edited this video for Shane Dawson, it'd be fucking four minutes long and it would have way more reverb fart sound effects. So this was here when we went to the open house, and I loved it, but I never actually read it. Like, I didn't actually read it, and then, like, after we moved in, I saw PewDiePie made a video making fun of it. In this house, we laugh a lot. We can't even... Dude, I would I'd be like, all right, done. Not This house is not for me. <laughs> Fuck this. And then I actually read it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> it's just so cheesy, but it's cute, right? <laughs> In this house, we laugh a lot, we count our blessings, we see, I can't even get through it, but it's really cute. I still don't like it. We say, I'm sorry. Yes, we do. Don't worry, I'll get to that. Here's 45 seconds of Shane Dawson defending his really tacky artwork that he has at his house that he didn't even buy. I'm glad I clicked on this video. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> oh gosh. We make, make, we make mistakes. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. I'll get to that. We forgive quickly. How about you get to that? <laughs> okay. We make mistakes? Huh? Yes, we do. I don't know Shane personally. I never engaged with his content before he became notorious for fucking his cat. So I don't know if this bizarre, unfunny sense of entitlement is normal, but I notice it, that's for sure. Him pointing to a sign that says we forgive quickly and saying, why oh, don't you get to that? Not exactly subtle, and it's not a joke either. It would be a joke if what he did was like really minor, but what, <laughs> what he did was really minor. <laughs> You can hate me. If you hate me, honestly, I feel better that way. Because it's like lowering the bar. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Because I finally don't really care anymore what other people think about me, except for myself. But I don't really like me either, so we're in a weird place. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Okay, so this is my house. Oh, this is so weird. I don't know what to do. This is so weird. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I feel like a TikToker doing her first video. <laughs> you know, I'm glad Shane is saving money after being cast away from the internet by not hiring a video editor. I don't know if I'm ever gonna post this. I don't quite know what I'm doing, but I know that currently I'm in a place where I really wanna get creative again. I really wanna make stuff again. I am tired of just sitting around and waiting for some crazy idea to hit me. That was too hot. Because I don't know, I feel like that, I feel like if I don't just start trying something, nothing's gonna happen, right? Like maybe this will get me creative again. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> I have a pinata, sorry, this is random, but this is my new pinata, I love her. She's sweet, she doesn't have a name yet. And she won't die. Why is he decorating his house with pinatas? OJ, do you think we'll make it through this one? But never. And I want to stress, never in any way, shape, or form had I ever had any interest in Chris, romantically or sexually. I don't know how much left I have in me. We're only five minutes in, and he's only talked about things that I want to hear about 
for like 10 seconds. From what he has said so far, it already seems like he wants to feel like a victim. Like, oh, I'm just sitting around waiting for something to hit me. I just want to be creative again. And again, I don't deny the fact that he was probably depressed. I'm depressed and I certainly didn't fuck anyone's cat. But it's really weird to act as if he was locked in some tower and not allowed to make videos anymore. You're allowed to make videos. It's just people don't like you that much anymore, man. And that's your fault, so sorry. You doing the right thing? <laughs> no. Dumb question. No. Uh, no, I'm doing it. Okay, so yeah. So I moved. He keeps doing this where he's like, no, I'm not doing all right. I'm not. Just kidding, I'm doing great. Which is another way to garner sympathy, but like pretend like he's not. Like, no, I'm actually doing great, so I don't need sympathy, but I would like it. Please give it to me. I kind of want to explain what my plan is. Before I get to that, I am in a really good place mentally. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am emotionally. <sighs> nope, not gonna say physically. No, I'm trying. I'm in a place now where I, it's been a very, oh my God, the sun's coming out. I wish I cared about that. I'm in a place, you know people who care about that, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> The sunset. Oh my god. And? Um. <laughs> What's that wrestling move where like you run up to somebody and then you like jump completely horizontally with both legs and like kick them really hard in the back? That's what I want to do to Shane Dawson right now because he will not shut the fuck up, allegedly, in, in Minecraft, in a video game. I don't want to do that in real life. Please do not come at me. No! My light died. Okay, I'm back. I charged my light battery and we're back. While I was charging my light, I was reminded of this clip of Shane Dawson. Trayvon Martin. <laughs> well, maybe you wouldn't been walking this around the streets if you had a job. Oh! <laughs> it's a game! Oh. Another thing he didn't apologize for in his uh, taking accountability video. And don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting him to go down the long list of things that people were mad at him for, but I don't know. Just figured I'd bring that up in case anyone's still having any shred of sympathy for this marshmallow man. I definitely feel ashamed and embarrassed and horrified over a lot of the stuff that started in old clips and stuff that started coming out when I got canceled and then all of that, awful. Then it snowballed and, but I, I don't wanna like, it's weird, because if I talk about it how I really feel, people are gonna say, oh, you're trying to get sympathy or whatever. So I, I like don't wanna talk about it. He says he doesn't wanna talk about how he actually feels because all, oh, it'll make people think I'm garnering sympathy, but he's trying to garner sympathy with everything else he's saying. So like, what's the fucking difference? This is the reason people are here to watch the video is to talk about how you feel so we could actually understand your perspective after you've been gone for so long. But no, he's gonna keep dancing around the question and beating around the bush and showing us his fucking pinatas that are in his kitchen because he doesn't want to garner sympathy. Anyway, did he tell you how he tried to kill himself? In the next chapter of my life, I really do want to focus on what I've wanted to do forever, which is make horror movies. And Colorado is fucking scary. <laughs> like, it is, it is one of, Denver is one of the most haunted cities in the world. The Denver airport. America's fifth busiest airport has swirled with conspiracy theories. Supposedly where the Illuminati lives, like underneath the ground. Where top government officials will survive nuclear war. I've done series in the past here where we went to the Stanley Hotel, one of the most haunted hotels in the world. The energy here is just different. Like it gets, I don't know, like it really does inspire me to, to write more, to get more excited about horror, and to kind of tap into that place. I mean, even this house, which we'll get into, I've already got some things going on where I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this is a good spooky house. This is um like a living room. So this video is like when you're first learning how to drive and you accidentally press too hard on the gas, then you press too hard on the brakes and you're just like lurching forward awkwardly. That's how it feels to watch this because he'll be like, so yeah, you know, I moved to Colorado cause you know, everything sucked in my life and it was all my fault. So I decided to run away to somewhere else. So I can just get a fresh start where people aren't mad at me anymore. And also Colorado is haunted and it's really scary and we're gonna go see a psychic and she's gonna tell us about the ghost that followed me to from Los Angeles. Anyway, so here's the kitchen 
and this is the stove, and that's the fridge. These aren't things that I had in my previous house. This is an angel um, that my friend got me when my cat passed away. A lot happened in the last year and a half. Oh my god. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah. Oh no, his cat Mario passed away. I like to think you can just see him, see the wheels turning in his head, just, hmm. Okay, so I mentioned the cat, but how do I like emphasize that? How do I really profit the most off of this dead cat that I had? It's just, it's hard, I can't not laugh at it. You know what I mean? Like at this point, like even, so I tried to explain when I was getting canceled, like at the, at the heat of it, because I had been in therapy for a while before that. So my therapist went through my cancellation with me and there was one point where I like told a story about something that was happening and like I started laughing and she started laughing and I was like, it's probably not good that me and my therapist are cackling about <laughs> the worst moments of my life. But So in reference to him facing the consequences of his actions, he keeps calling it getting canceled. I don't really like the term canceled, especially not for this, because I feel like people often use it for things that don't deserve cancellation. Like, oh, I tweeted a bad joke in 2009, and stuff like that. This is more like a pattern of recurring racial insensitivity, interactions with minors that are highly inappropriate, and I don't know, a bunch of drama channel shit that I don't care about. And I think equating that to like, when people tried to cancel the Shang-Chi actor for like having weird Reddit posts from like 10 years ago, it's not the same, Shane. It's not, it's very different. So rather than saying uh, getting canceled, let's call it uh, facing the consequences of your actions and go from there. Okay, here's what I'll say. I'm very, very, very disconnected from the person that I was in my early 20s to a point where when I see that person, it makes me feel really sad and sick to my stomach. But some things I've learned over the last year and a half is I can't just pretend like that person didn't exist. So I've really come to peace with that. And also, um, and I don't want to get too much into this, but because I felt like I, I had made a lot of growth before I got canceled. The last five or six years in and out of therapy, dealing with stuff, I feel like I grew as a person. This video is not about owning up to the things that he did. I guess in his mind, he's already done that so he doesn't need to do it again, which is not how apologizing works, at least not to me. It's not like turning off a light switch, like, oh, I said sorry, so sorry has been said, so I can't say it again, that's crazy. Especially for the shit that he did. This video focuses so much more on how he overcame feeling bad for doing blackface. Good guys, he looked at it, he was sick to his stomach, he was so upset. I feel like I learned a lot. I would never say or do any of those jokes or any of those things ever that I did back then. So you can't say you would never ever do those things, Shane, because you did them. That's not how it works. You already did them. You can't say I would never ever do that. <laughs> and in the last year, like, I love life again. I love leaving the house. Like every day I'm telling him, I'm like, let's go somewhere, let's do something, which I think <laughs> almost he's- too much. Almost too, I think he's getting annoyed at it. Because I've been leaving the house more, I've been running into more people. I don't know, I just met a lot of really great people who said a lot of really nice things. So Shane keeps throwing in these like video and image compilations of him going out and doing stuff. Wow, Shane's a person and he has family and he goes and he buys his tacky piece of shit pinata. The more I think about the pinata, the angrier I get. But in all of this footage and all of these pictures, Shane and his boyfriend are wearing the same outfit that they are in the main video, which leads me to believe that they only filmed any of this shit for the video. I'm excited for you to take a different chapter. I want you to do what you've always have set out to do, you know? What did you say, Grandma? I'm happy that he's going to be doing this. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That's so nice, thank you. And, and the worst part is that they film Grandma. They literally like, what'd you say, Grandma? Say that again for the camera, please. It, does no one else think this is really fucking cynical? This is pathetic. But this is my office, I love it so much. This is kind of where I'm feeling the most inspired, especially with him here. Who's he? Me in an alternate universe. <laughs> Things did not go well. Dude, fucking control yourself. I love that he keeps trying to make this point that he's grown, he's changed, he thinks about the things that he does and he doesn't want to like affect people negatively with his content and he keeps 
making jokes about suicide. That's not cool, Shane. You can't keep doing that. Not only from a perspective of like garnering sympathy, but also like suicide's not funny. Like, <laughs> come on, man, fuck. Okay, so as far as I know, from this point forward, Shane Dawson's talking about ghosts, spirits, and other things I don't care about. And that's pretty much the only parts of this video that you need to see. Everything else is bad. Ultimately, I think that this video is super manipulative, really scummy, it wastes a ton of your time. And the parts that you want to hear, the parts where Shane Dawson sits down and says, yeah, I fucked up, this is the plan going forward, I'm sorry, don't exist. <laughs> Instead, he's rambling and pacing around his house, going out to take fun little pictures of, oh, I'm a normal person. No, and ultimately he just came back because he missed making money. Do I blame him? Yes. This week's comment of the video is this very long thread of two different users arguing about Spider-Man in my goddamn comment section. Guys, if you see this, please stop. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will probably never cover YouTube drama again. This just uh, stuck out to me a little bit because Shane Dawson's a creepy little guy. And that's it. I'll see you next week. Bye.